Hello everybody, in this video I want to show you how to create animated appearance of the button with React Native Reanimated Library. We will animate opacity and translate simultaneously, so button will smoothly pop up like this. It will show and hide by tap action. Ok, let's start with the code template I have here. It contain just image background, touchable without feedback, so we can tap and show hide button, uh, touchable opacity, so there is our button. We can start from here. Let's go to the React Native reanimated library docs. Okay, it's version 2, note we need to version 1 and declarative animation API. So I just copy this example with run timing. I will add interpolate as well. We want animate with from two values. So start position will be from duration I think 200 milliseconds. Two value we will use two param. We're not going to do anything if clock running, if clock not running, we will start the clock. Then we'll invoke timing function with clock state and config. On finished we want to stop clock without debug. Sorry, stop clock clock and return the animation position value. Uh, let's create some state for show hide uh, button. S so let's name it show, set show. Start with hidden value. Also let's create animated values with use mimo hook. Clock is new clock and animated value new value and start with zero uh, don't forget to put dependency so it will invoke once on start and destructure it then let's use code hook sorry block and I want to run it with dependency show so each time we will show or hide our button this block of reanimated library will invoke and I want set animated value with runtime and function depending on show state if show we want to set animated value with result of timing function which will go from 0 to 1 and for height case from 1 to 0 
uh, let's convert our animated value to opacity and translate values so opacity will be interpolate our animated value input range will be from 0 to 1 and output range actually will be the same so uh, we can actually use animated value directly but for translate y we want a bit different we want start from position 20 and finish with button position initial so it will be zero value now to apply this values we need to use animated view let's wrap our button with animated view and put values to the styles opacity and transform which took array and of objects and let's put translate y here and last thing we need to do add on press function here and on press we want to set show value like toggle show value here okay I think that's it let's take a look our button disappear because we have zero opacity initially and on press it nicely appear and hide okay that's it thank you for watching hope to see you in new videos